I woke me up. The, the gunshots woke me up. Lori Franz was startled by the sounds overnight in her Fairview neighborhood in unincorporated Hayward. It sounded like firecrackers right outside my window, and that's all I heard. And then, of course, the lights start flashing. She didn't hear any disturbance before. The Alameda County Sheriff's Office says they received 911 calls about a man with a gun. He was banging on doors, and like I said, we had multiple callers. You know, at 3:40 in the morning, people are being woken out of the sleep. This wasn't just a, a, a random. You know, there's a, a mysterious person in my front yard. This this individual was actively had a gun in their hand, was threatening to shoot people, uh, and that led to. The number of calls. Sergeant Ray Kelly says they established a perimeter and located him behind a fence in the front yard of a home, but horizontal fence boards made it hard to see. And what happened next happened fast. The individual had a gun. Uh, our officers told uh, that individual to drop the gun. Uh, he, they tried to de-escalate it as quick as they could, but he grabbed the gun. He, he reached up. He fired uh, the weapon. Uh, we know that a bullet uh, went past our. Our deputy's head narrowly missing him. They say he was grazed and in a matter of inches could have been struck. Deputies returned fire, striking him multiple times. They began first aid and the man died at the scene. This is a picture of the gun they recovered. He's a 26 year old male. Uh, we believe he is a Filipino, maybe white mixed race. Uh, but we're looking at his criminal history as a very extensive criminal history. They say his connection to the area is still unclear, but residents are shaken up by it all. I'm a little uneasy. Investigations are underway. They say they have body camera footage. The officers are on administrative leave, which is customary in an officer-involved shooting. In Alameda County, Christy Smith, NBC Bay Area News.